Shalom, Akim. First of all, please go to your Hawa Bahashim, Yawasha Bahashim, Her Dash, the Bahah and Nusun, and Sight Intellect. And right now, Lunga, listen to Bay Sabro, is about enduring all the way to the very end. It's true, basically. Constantly endure, and constantly. That whatever you're going through, whatever hell, shit, that, this, the other man, because I know it's hell, bro. I know it's hell. I know it ain't easy, man. Trust me, bro. The truth ain't easy. Not supposed to be easy. But if you endure all the way into the very end, Akim, it call all you how about Hashem you was shy for that, man. Because you endured, you went through the trials, with those heavy ass trials, and endured basically. So let me just, real quick, this is 1 Corinthians 9 verse 24 it reads, Know ye not that which run on race, run, a, run all, but one receive the prize? So hey, you're in this race, man. You're in this race for your salvation, for your stuff at the end of the day. Is but run, but one receive the prize. So run that you may obtain. So run, bro. Go strive all for this, man. So you may obtain this truth, bro. You may obtain that internal glory, that internal glory, man. Because honestly, you gotta realize that at the end of the day, you gave everything in the world. You truly did. You gave everything in the world. And even if you want to want, even if you wanted to go back, there's nothing there, bro. There's nothing there for you. It sucks. I know. But the truth is nothing there for you. It's there's nothing like, oh, you know, this, that, and the road. No. I said, well, my woman, like, their woman's gonna leave because I, they, the Lord tempted you. But they ain't gonna take that shit right away, away from you. Now you have left with fucking nothing. And re- so honestly, keep going, bro. Keep going this truth. Understand, bro, that this once you're in this truth, man. You're honestly in it for life. Like that. Nah, honestly, in this life, and there's no way out of it. Now, if you do try to get out, that's on you, bro. You knew the truth, you had the unwisdom understanding. Stop, oh boy. Stop. I love being a fucking boy. But you knew what you're supposed to do, and yet you just said fuck all that and tried to go back. So, honestly, keep going and run to you obtain. And every man that strives for the mastery, temper in all things. Now they do it to obtain a credible crown, but we are incredible. But we often are incredible. We're supposed to be able to try that part of that incredible crown, bro. We we're trying to obtain that incorruption, man. That thing that lasts forever and ever and ever. That pure, that pure good shit, basically. So honestly, you gotta run and run and run so that you may obtain the prize at the very, very end. It's not easy. I know. Not supposed. To, it's not supposed to be easy, man. The truth at the end of the day is something that you are, it's hard, that's like, fuck man. Just difficult, it's, it's a path of, of difficultness. As it says real quick, let me get this real quick. This is, like you First, second Timothy 2 and verse 3 and reads, it says, there, it's a fact. Yeah, I'm verse 3 and reads, Thou therefore endure, endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahash Mashiach. Endure hardness for the truth, man. Endure hardness, Akim. Because you've been chosen as a good soldier. It said, No man that wore himself. It said, No man that wore and entangle himself with the affairs of this life. So you gotta understand, you gotta honestly have that. Fuck everything, this, that, and other. I gotta do this truth. And I know it's not gonna be easy, bro. Be honest, yeah, it will get you. The shit in the world doesn't get you down. It's always hard to like that you know since you know what's going on, you have to go through for a smile. Like yeah, I know I'm going through hell because you know that's supposed to be, bro. Run, run the the curses, man. Gotta help catch hell because catch hell. Truthfully about this, but does it suck? Fuck yeah, hell yeah, it sucks. Even when I know, you know, I'm talking about something like it's off reason. It still sucks. It doesn't make it any better. But that's the part of the truth, basically. You gotta understand that this truth will suffer you. That, hey, you might get weak sometimes. It, ha- it happened to me before, it happens to the brothers, man. Or have you some macho, macho man, bro? No. That, that's the whole macho, macho bullshit. Hey, that's there to, to fuck with you. That shit, you men. We men, bro. We're not fucking perfect. 
I said, hey man, need help? Hey, call for some, hey, honestly, they need call for some help. Either it's up to you too, hey, make sure you call for that help, basically. You never know, bro, mother, a brother might go through the same thing that you're going through. A brother might have been through, might have been through some of the same thing you're going through. And like, hey, you might have help, but at least you know that, hey, you're not alone in this thing. Truly, you can't have always had that lone wolf spirit in this truth. Sometimes, yes, you're going to have to, man. Sometimes you're going to have to forsake. So you're going through it, just going through it, you got to, I don't know, going through but if it's too heavy, then you can't bear it, and yeah, you got to. Speak, you gotta speak up, basically. So yeah, man. So hey, because honestly, at the end of the day, this is a war path, basically. And hey, they're gonna, it's gonna be temp, you're gonna be tempted, be tried by various things to see what you're gonna do about it. But at the end of the day, you wanna save this real quick, man. This second team, these former centers, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. They realize that they, they could say that ah, I kept the faith all the way to the very end. And that's beautiful to say, bro. That you have kept the faith all the way into the very end, Akim. Because hey, once once you're done, once it's done, it's done. Once you, once you kick the bucket, once the hellshire comes back, that's it, bro. You know, then hey. And that goes twofold. Once what you want to happen, that's it. That's it. You can't you can't do no do over no more. Now you're doing good, you're doing this thing, doing what we're supposed to. Hey, you can rest easily. But once a hey, on the same time, if you're not doing anything about it, and see that there's no do overs. There's no but if but ifs and what and then bro. Nothing like that, man. Best thing to do is a hey, dual harness. Do what you gotta do, so that you may say those things like, "Yeah, I, I fought the good fight." That you that you did what you gotta do. You did it all all the way into the very end. It's honestly not anything here. On this side, bro, it's it's nothing, man. Well, you got you got your PS fives, you got your your Xboxes, your movies, and women and. Women and drink and food and this, that, and the other. Vacation, shit like that, bro. I understand this, man, because, like, hey, some new things in the world, hey, it's tempting, right? I'll give an example, right? Like, it makes me, it makes me the fuck, muck, fucking period, furious. And like, how these Edomites live, I'm not talking about these average Joe Edomites. I'm talking about the multi million dollar Edomites. The way they live, and the way you live is completely fucking different. I never experienced how you live for a fucking week, bro. It should make me mad. And I really, at the end of the day, no matter what, I'll never achieve that. I won't. I won't live in a fucking no $4.1 million home. I know, I know that's way out of the reach. So you understand that whatever, like, oh, you know, oh, they, well, I have this, I have PS5, I have this and that. You know, I have fucking anime and this that. I have fucking women to fucking suck my dick or like what the fuck, bro. I just I I always have the back of my mind that you know, no matter what where the hell I get on this side, whatever they can tell me on this side, and nothing it's like nothing compared with the Lord even got to me. And even then, oh there I'd be like you my spell relaxing on a fucking beachfront porch. I'd never be that. But if I do this shoof, if I do what you gotta do in the shoof. I would have way better than what those Edomites ever had, basically. So you honestly be peace. Truly peace, man. Your mind be at ease. You don't have to worry about... Fuck, I gotta get up early in the morning to do this, that, and the other. I gotta go to work, bro. Nah, man. You realize that thing that you'll be able to sit down and realize you can relax. And I mean fully and entirely... Relax. Not this, oh, I could relax for a quick minute. You know, you're on vacation, you can relax, man. No, you don't have to worry about going back to work. You don't got to worry about paying your bills. You don't worry about that, that, that vacation hook took, uh, vacation, uh, vacation that you took was a financial hit on your, on your bank. You can actually relax. You don't have to worry about shit no more. 
be, yeah, be, can be happy, be glory. You will forget basically what sadness is. Basically, man, see if I'm gonna real quick. Yeah, to Isaiah 35 verse 10 and read after this. And read, and the ransom the most high shall return and, and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. And they shall attain joy and gladness and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. They shall flee away, bro. They're, you're not going to basically, you're gonna basically kind of basically forget how to be sad. And, and honestly, that's beautiful, basically. That's basically the beauty of the kingdom, man. Even when I was vacation, I'm mad as fuck. I won't be mad no more. I'm like, you know what? I'm chilling, relaxing. I could sit on this beach as long as I want to. I could sit here all day, next three days, three months, whatever the fuck. I can truly, a whole heart relax, knowing that you finished your course, and that's it, basically, man. The Hakim, the Bapis, the Hashem, 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 the Hashem